I don't blame people. <laughs> it's hard to not understand. And, and I don't blame them for feeling that way based on the, the society that we've created. You know, we've chosen to say, okay, yeah, that thing that helps kids and like you're raising the child and whatever, like it's not monetizable. So, you know, it's not that important, you know? And so like when you're thinking about all the different things in society that are required for us to have a healthy population, have a healthy mental state to, to, uh, develop, you know, good conscious citizens, they're not all incentivized and it's not all incentivized economically. It's not all incentivized, uh, emotionally, spiritually, whatever, because of the systems that we have in place, you know, the capitalistic system is not necessarily going to incentivize some of these things that are necessary parts of us being happy as a species and not just happiness, but fulfilled. And, uh, you know, if you want to reach that level of fulfillment, well, then we're going to have to factor some of these things in, in our day to day life. And if we're not factoring in, you know, our well being and other things, more than just generating capital capital or making money or producing goods or whatever if we're not factoring in the fact that you know we also have other needs that are not necessarily quantifiable um then yeah we're gonna have a whole society of people that are, are sick mentally that are sad that are depressed that feel like a sense of meaninglessness and i want more people to discover meaning in their life and so for some people you can find it in religion for some people you can find it in uh you know, sports or, you know, whatever the thing is that like, you know, really turns you on, you, then you need, you need to start going towards those things. And that doesn't mean, and I think this is really important to, to just dis- make a distinction for, that doesn't mean that you got to go be a YouTuber or, you know, go do some fucking shit that makes you famous or whatever. Like, no, you can work a totally regular job and you can live a completely fulfilled life doing that. And there's no shame in that. And there is no, you're not a lesser person because you decided to go for something a little less ambitious than somebody else. That is totally fine. What is important though, is that you are conscious of that decision and that you are doing it because that is what you actually want. Um, and sometimes we're going to do things that we don't want to do and that's okay, but it shouldn't be all the time. You shouldn't be sacrificing 90% of your life doing things you don't want to do to have 10% of your life be things you wanted to do. Like that ratio sucks. So, you know, that doesn't mean that you need to work the dream job to get a better ratio than 90, 10, you know? Uh, so for me, part of us, you know, waking up from this nightmare that we're in, uh, in this current system that we've, that we've designed. And it was good for a little bit in the sense that it, it's pushed us to where we're at now, but now we have the resources to make a better system and we're not doing it because of perverse incentives, because of, uh, these, revolving doors in Washington. And, you know, there's a number of things that play into it. And that's not the point of this podcast, not to get into that stuff. I talk about it on a lot of other episodes and I'll go into it more uh, in the future. But what, what to me is more important is finding this, like this balance where we really are becoming who we are destined to be. And the only way to do that is for you to wake up. It's for you to do it. It's your responsibility you know, there's more than enough resources out there, whether it's myself or Alan Watts or uh, Aubrey Marcus, or, you know, for some people, you got like the Joe Rogans of the world. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of different people who, you know, give good, inspiring messages that can um, help you discover what you need to discover about yourself, right? Point you in the direction, uh, give you ideas to think about, to chew on, to digest. Um, but ultimately the only one who can find those answers is you and you only, you can find it within yourself and that's going to take time. And that's going to be, you know, contemplation and silence and listening to yourself. And, um, the answers are not always going to come when you expect them. And sometimes I think you really need to let something marinate for a while and having the patience and understanding to realize that it's not all going to be figured out right away and that it is going to take time to get there. That is essential. That is important. (laughs) 